As we reminisce about the illustrious career of Yaromir Yager, it's undeniable that he remains one of the most legendary figures in NHL history. With his iconic mullet and staggering career statistics, Yager dominated the North American hockey scene for an impressive 24 seasons, captivating fans with his skill and setting the standard for superstardom in the sport. However, since his departure from the NHL nearly a decade ago, Yager's presence in the hockey world has seemingly dwindled, leaving many to wonder what he's been up to. Has he disappeared completely, or is there more to the story? Today, we take a trip down memory lane and revisit the career of this bona fide NHL legend and uncover the latest chapter in the remarkable journey of Yarmir Yager. Let's get into it. Yarmir Yager began ice skating at the tender age of three. Growing up in Kladno, Czech Republic, his talent for hockey was evident from an early age. By the time he was 15, Yager had already turned professional, joining his hometown team in Kladno. In the 1990 NHL draft, Yager was chosen as the fifth overall pick to the Pittsburgh Penguins, giving him the chance to team up with Penguins superstar Mario Lemieux. Yager was determined to make an immediate impact, despite facing homesickness and the challenge of a language barrier. He quickly established himself as a dependable playmaker. Teaming up with Mario Lemieux, Yager played a pivotal role as the Penguins clinched consecutive championships in 1991 and 1992. Remarkably, still in his teenage years, Yager showcased his scoring prowess during the 1992 Stanley Cup playoffs, where he scored 11 goals and provided 13 assists in 21 games. Particularly memorable was his game-tying goal in Game 1 of the 1992 Stanley Cup Finals, setting the stage for the Penguins' eventual sweep of the Blackhawks. During the 1994-95 season, the Pittsburgh Penguins faced a significant setback as their iconic figure, Mario Lemieux, was sidelined for the entire season due to Hodgkin's lymphoma. With Lemieux absent, Yaromir Yager rose to the occasion, taking on a more prominent role within the team. In the shortened season, caused by a lockout, Yager delivered an outstanding performance, tallying 32 goals and 38 assists in just 48 games. The following year, Yager continued to shine, setting a new milestone as he potted 149 points, the most points ever recorded by a European-born player in NHL history. In the late 90s and early 2000s, Yaromir Yager dominated the NHL his incredible talent was exemplified by winning the Art Ross Trophy in four straight seasons from 1998 to 2001. During this remarkable stretch, Yager amassed an astonishing 173 goals and 273 assists, totaling 446 points, and boasted an impressive plus 78 plus minus rating. His performance on the ice was nothing short of captivating, earning him a place among the most entertaining players in NHL history. Throughout his celebrated career, Yarmir Yager endeared himself to fans, reaching a pinnacle of popularity during the 1998-99 season. Noteworthy during this time was his appointment as captain of the Penguins, a testament to his leadership qualities within the team. Yager's standout performance that season saw him lead the league in scoring with an impressive 127 points, including 44 goals, which earned him the Hart Trophy. However, Despite Yager's undeniable prowess as one of the Pittsburgh Penguins' top players, tensions within the team were escalating at the time. His relationship with Penguins head coach Ivan Holinka had become increasingly strained, nearing a breaking point. Meanwhile, Mario Lemieux was in the midst of a remarkable comeback as a player owner. With Lemieux's return, the team faced salary cap constraints that made it impossible to retain both players. Consequently, the Penguins made the decision to place Yager on the trading block. In 2001, Yaromir Yager's tenure with the Pittsburgh Penguins came to an end when he was traded to the Washington Capitals. Joining the Capitals, Yager inked a lucrative seven-year, $77 million 
million-dollar contract, marking a significant chapter in his career. Despite bidding farewell to his time with the Penguins, Yager left an indelible mark as one of the franchise's greatest players. Unfortunately, Yager's arrival in Washington didn't immediately translate into postseason success. And as the 2003-2004 season unfolded, the Capitals found themselves in a rebuilding phase amid disappointing results. Seeking to revamp their roster, the team opted to trade Yager to alleviate salary cap pressures. Midway through the 2003-2004 season, Yarmir Yager found himself traded to the New York Rangers. Yager wasted no time in showcasing his skill and made an immediate impact, tallying an impressive 29 points in his first 31 games with the Rangers during the latter part of the 2003-2004 season. The 2004-2005 NHL season was halted due to another lockout. But when play resumed in 2005-2006, Yarmir Yager showcased his exceptional talent by shouldering the New York Rangers' offensive burden. With an impressive 54 goals and 69 assists, Yager led a Rangers team lacking in depth to a commendable 44-26-12 record and secured their first playoff appearance in seven years. Here comes Yager down low, and he scores! Despite Yager's heroic efforts, the Rangers suffered a disappointing sweep at the hands of the New Jersey Devils in the first round of the playoffs. In February 2007, Yager achieved yet another milestone by reaching his 1500th career point, a feat accomplished by only 12 NHL players at the time. Additionally, he extended his streak of seasons with 30 goals or more to 15 consecutive years tying the record set by Mike Gartner for the most all-time. Yager's consistent excellence solidified his status as one of the game's greatest scorers. After the 2007-2008 season, Yaramir Yager opted not to re-sign with the New York Rangers, as he had long planned to conclude his career playing overseas in Europe. He made the move and signed with avant-garde Omsk in the KHL. During his stint in the KHL, Yager earned recognition with three all-star team appearances from 2009 to 2011 and secured the Continental Cup title in 2011. However, in a twist of fate, Yager decided to entertain contract offers from NHL teams for the 2011-2012 season signaling a potential comeback to the NHL. Yager surprised many by signing with the Penguins' interstate rivals, the Philadelphia Flyers. Despite initial adjustments to seeing Yager in a Flyers jersey, the team went on to defeat the Penguins in six games in the first round of the playoffs that year. However, their postseason journey was cut short as they were eliminated by the New Jersey Devils in the second round. Following a brief stint with the Dallas Stars in the 2012-13 season, Yaramir Yager's journey in the NHL continued as he was traded to the playoff-bound Boston Bruins near the end of the season after just 34 games in Dallas. Yager's addition bolstered an already formidable Bruins team, propelling them to the Stanley Cup Finals, where they faced off against the Chicago Blackhawks. Notably, this finals appearance marked Yager's return after a 21-year gap, the longest hiatus between Stanley Cup Finals appearances in NHL history. Despite contributing 10 points during the playoffs, Yager opted not to re-sign with the Bruins. From that point onward, Yager embarked on a journey across various NHL teams, continuously seeking opportunities to prolong his career. At this stage, Yager had transitioned from being a white-hot superstar to a dependable second-line player, renowned for his leadership qualities. Between 2013 and 2018, Yager suited up for the New Jersey Devils, Florida Panthers, and Calgary Flames consistently delivering respectable performances despite his age. Throughout this period, Yager remained a valuable asset to any team willing to take him on, showcasing his enduring passion for the game. In January 2015, at the remarkable age of 42, Yarmir Yager etched his name into the NHL history books by becoming the oldest player ever to record a hat trick. Despite his age, Yager continued to defy expectations consistently breaking records and ascending the all-time points leaderboard with each game he played. In December 2016, Yager achieved yet another historic milestone by surpassing Marc Messier to claim the second spot on the all-time NHL career points list. 
with an extraordinary total of 1,921 career points, comprising of 766 goals and 1,155 assists. Only Wayne Gretzky, the legendary Great One, remained ahead of Yager in terms of career points, further solidifying Yager's place among hockey's elite. So now the question is, where is Yager now? Well, following his brief stint with the Calgary Flames during the 2017-18 NHL season, Yaramir Yager's professional hockey journey continued in a new direction. In 2018, he returned to his hometown team in Kladno, Czech Republic, fulfilling a long-held desire to conclude his playing career in his native country. However, Yager's involvement with Kladno went beyond simply signing as a player. He took on the role of co-owner by purchasing a stake in the team. In the initial years with Kladno, Yager saw limited action on the ice. However, during the 2019-2020 season, the then 47-year-old Yager experienced a resurgence, delivering an impressive performance with 15 goals and 29 points. Despite his age, Yager demonstrated his enduring skill and passion for the game. Over the following three seasons, Yager continued to contribute to Kladno's success, participating in over 80 games and accumulating a total of 45 points. Despite transitioning away from the the NHL, Yager's commitment to the sport remained steadfast as he continued to make meaningful contributions to his hometown team. Fast forward to 2024 and Yaramir Yager continues to defy the odds and showcase his passion for the game of hockey. Remarkably, at the age of 51, Yager is embarking on his 36th season of professional hockey. In December 2023, Yager demonstrated his timeless skill and dedication by suiting up for his team's 20 sixth game of the season. Despite the team's 4-3 loss, Yager's performance was notable as he logged over 13 minutes of ice time and contributed an assist. This achievement stands as a testament to Yager's longevity and unparalleled commitment to the sport. Yager's remarkable feat draws comparisons to the legendary Gordie Howe, often referred to as Mr. Hockey who similarly continued playing professional hockey into his 50s. While questions may arise about how long Yager's playing days will continue, one thing remains certain. As long as his body allows, Yager will continue to lace up his skates and take to the ice. Yarmir Yager's remarkable longevity in the sport of hockey stands as a testament to his unwavering dedication, disciplined workout regimen, and meticulous attention to diet. While many players see their careers cut short, by injuries and the physical toll of the game, Yager has defied the odds, remaining a formidable force on the ice well into his 50s. His commitment to maintaining peak physical condition has made him the embodiment of longevity in a sport notorious for its grueling demands. For hockey fans worldwide, Yager's journey serves as an inspiration, and there is collective hope that he will continue to defy father time for as long as possible. Despite suiting up for numerous teams throughout his illustrious career. There's no doubt that Yager's final destination will be in Toronto at the Hockey Hall of Fame. And there you have it, folks, the incredible career of Yaramir Yager that continues to amaze us to this day. If you like this video and want to see more, hit the subscribe button and turn on the notification bell. Drop us a comment below and let us know your favorite memory of Yager. See you in the next one.